Hey, I'm Maya. This is Recap, and it has been a week. Let's get you caught up. Last week on Instagram, we asked you to help us build this week's episode of Recap. You voted on the kind of news you want to see, and the overwhelming winner was... Feel Good Stories! I reached out to the Recap Squad for some help, and they delivered. Get ready to smile. I was so excited when I saw this headline. So Crayola will be releasing a new set of crayons and it's filled with different skin tones from around the world. The new set will be called Colors of the World and it's set to release around July. They worked with a makeup brand and a Canadian makeup developer to create the set of colors. I think mine would be light, medium, golden, depending on how tan I get this summer. I remember feeling so frustrated as a kid, not knowing what color I should use to color myself with. It's definitely about time kids became able to draw people the way they see them. I loved the story. Storks are usually associated with bringing babies to new parents. But in England this month, wild storks have their own babies. It's the first time in 600 years for this to happen in the United Kingdom. I didn't know this, but because of hunting and other factors, storks almost went extinct in Britain in the Middle Ages. This story is so wholesome. Thrive, storks, thrive! Yo, did you see what Disney Plus and Pixar did? It was so cute. It made me feel so amazing, I'm not gonna lie. They released a Spark short called Out. It's a nine minute animated short film featuring the studio's very first gay main character. The plot's very simple. It's about a grown man who's struggling to come out to his parents. Honestly, it was so, 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 so cute. I wanted to cry, it was adorable. And honestly, it kind of just gives you a reminder that, hey, love is love. Last weekend, Muslims all around the world celebrated Eid al-Fitr. It's a celebration that we host at the end of the holy month of Ramadan. During that time, we tend to wear our best clothing, our best jewelry, we put mehendi on our hands, and the best part is the kids get money. But this time, things were a little different. We couldn't love and celebrate the people that we were closest to. So, when I saw this picture, it completely changed my day. An IKEA storefront owner and a local mosque in Germany collaborated to hold a mass social distancing prayer. Around 800 Muslims showed up to an IKEA parking lot with their prayer mats and they all prayed together. It was amazing because it shows that even during these times, openness and kindness will always shine through. Honestly, this story made me laugh out loud. Okay, so Boston police officers were patrolling the streets near a zoo. Someone came up to them to tell them a peacock was running around the streets. Anyway, they put their quick thinking to work and found a peacock mating call online. They played the mating call to lure the peacock safely into a fenced yard, and then Boston Animal Control took over from there. The one thing that would have made this story even better would have been if the police officer did the mating call himself. I cannot get over how freaking adorable this is. CNN, Good Morning America, and the New York Post are all following this one-year-old on Instagram who's a chef. His name's Kobe, and he helps out in any way he can in the kitchen. The gurgling, the smiling, and the chubby little hands he can barely even use yet. This one-year-old is breaking the internet and almost has two million followers on Instagram. His parents only started his account last February, and this man even has brand deals. <laughs> He definitely does put a smile on your face. Could you get me some brown deals too? You're slacking, miss. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Sophia. Wasn't that fun? And I'm pretty sure this is the first time ever that we've had every sidekick represent in one episode. That makes me feel good. John Krasinski had fans feeling all the feels this week. His hit YouTube series, Some Good News, has been sold to TV network CBS. And that will do it. Apparently, there was a massive bidding war. Here's the thing, Krasinski will stay involved, but won't be hosting the show moving forward. Many fans were quick to call him a sellout and were left feeling not so good. On the other hand, can we blame him? He launched Some Good News while at home, like the rest of us in quarantine. But in real life, he's a Hollywood director, producer, and actor. 
not a YouTuber, right? Cancel culture is on fire this week, y'all. Someone better bring me a host. Close enough. The latest celebrity to be dragged is Jimmy Fallon. Back in the year 2000, he was a cast member on NBC's Saturday Night Live. He did an impression of comedian Chris Rock in blackface. This week, that skit resurfaced on Twitter, and hashtag Jimmy Fallon is over party quickly started trending. Yes, there were a lot of people offended by this clip, but there was also a lot of talk about cancel culture itself and how it needs to stop. In the meantime, Jimmy Fallon tweeted an apology, saying, I am very sorry for making this unquestionably offensive decision, and thank you all for holding me accountable. Should Saturday Night Live and NBC also be apologizing? We took a deeper dive into cancel culture on our website, including what's going on with Doja Cat and Lana Del Rey. Go check it. Two of TikTok's biggest creators were arrested this week on drug-related charges. Bryce Hall and Jaden Hostler were on a road trip with the Sway House squad. They were pulled over by police officers in Lee County, Texas, which is kind of near Austin. Footage of the police stop made its way onto TikTok and YouTube. Cue the drama. Bryce is charged with a Class B misdemeanor for possession of marijuana. In Texas, that means he could face up to 180 days in jail or a fine up to $2,000. But Jaden is charged with a second degree felony. Allegedly, he had more than just marijuana on him. He could face 20 years in state prison or a fine up to $10,000. Both have been released from jail and fans are waiting to see what happens next. Big theme parks are starting to reopen in the States. Legoland Florida is welcoming back visitors this weekend and Universal Orlando, well, they're scheduled to reopen on June 5th. The new rules include lower capacity, six feet apart when in line for food and rides, temperature checks at entry, and mandatory mask wearing. Also, all missed areas remain closed, and meet and greets with park characters are a no-go. Yo Canada's Wonderland, it's your move, we be waiting. Oh, and Gatorland in Florida is already open, and they have a new social distancing mascot. Meet Skunk Ape, he's the enforcer for staying six feet apart. Thank you, social distancing skunk ape. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere near him. That's it for this week, but don't feel bad. I'll be back next week with another brand new recap. Bye!